458 minutes. Did you know that's how much time you spend using media each day? Seven hours and 38 minutes. Imagine how that adds up over a week, a month, a year. Being connected, being online, it's what we do. We're all digital citizens, but what does that mean? Is it like being a citizen of a country or state? Are there internet police that'll track us down for breaking a law? Are there even any laws to break? The answer is both yes and no. Not everything online is just like the offline world. That doesn't mean it's a free-for-all either. You're part of a digital community, and that comes with certain rights and responsibilities. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Most rights and responsibilities are universal, like equality, freedom of speech or religion, or just being who you are. As citizens, we want to exercise our rights safely and responsibly, respect the rights of others, and be a force for good so we can make the community better. Being a digital citizen is also about knowing how your behavior affects your digital interactions and how to take charge of your online presence. Part of taking charge is understanding what you're watching and reading. There's a lot of information out there, some good, some bad. So knowing what's what is important. We all participate in a variety of digital communities and in many different ways. You're probably more casual on social media than you would be on a bulletin board at school or for a class project, and that's okay. It's just like being offline. You behave as expected for the situation. But that doesn't mean you can forget about the fundamental need to be smart, fair, and considerate. After all, each of your online interactions builds your digital reputation, and you want to be known as a good digital citizen, don't you? So, how are you going to spend your 458 minutes today?